Hey everybody, welcome to Life Inside Hell. It's me, Brother Wild Bill, coming to you from inside the most dangerous prison in the Western Hemisphere. I'm in the prison's chaplain as well as an inmate. I'm serving 46 years for quintuple homicide. I was a professional killer on the outside, and this is my audio diary. I've been in jail for 13 years, been prison in third world prison. For 13 years, this is my audio diary. I try to post one of these. I'm going to be trying to post one of these every day, so or at least once every you know five times a week, something like that. So today we're talking about, we're thinking about, and I was laying here on the bed. I just ate my lunch, and it's kind of relaxing having a moment of peace. If the boys will leave me alone, alone long enough to record something. Um, I was thinking about leadership and what leadership means and the things I've learned about leadership and how what I used to think about leadership is really different than what it actually is. The, the, the principles of leadership I always saw, you know, you're a tough guy and you tell everybody what to do and you know, in charge, you know, and, and the really good leaders are nothing like that at all. Real good leaders lead from example. You know, a real good leaders lead from the front. You know, when there's a problem, they're they're on the problem. They're involved in the problem. I think that uh, it's an amazing feature of most all leaders that are have been you know that are respected and you know across the board. One of the problems we have in the world right now, I think, is a leaderless world. We have a really a, we really have a leaderless world in the West. Now, the Russians and the Chinese have got good leadership, actually, but we in the West are come like devoid of leadership. So tell me who is a great, you know, president or prime minister in the world right now in the Western world, Australia, United States, Canada. I mean, there isn't any that are, <laughs> that come to my mind, we, we don't really, you know, have some great leader. And we haven't had one for quite some time, I think. You know, and a good leader unifies. He's not polarizing, and that's another thing about it. A, a good leader doesn't it doesn't force his will. He 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 coerces through through reason and um, an example. And that's what we're talking about here right now. I want to talk to you about that. I want to talk about what's your example. What kind of leader do you want to be? And not everybody's a leader to some degree. You, every single one of us, even everybody listening to this, somebody looks up to you as a leader. Maybe it's your kids or maybe it's your damn dog even. I mean, somebody's looking up to you as a leader. Uh, and so, and then somebody's leading you as well. So there's a, there's a couple things I want to say here. One I heard Napoleon Hill say one time, and it, this really resonated with me. Um... He said, you, give, you, you obey orders as cheerfully as you give orders. That was a sign of a leadership for him. That you would obey orders given to you as cheerfully as you give orders to somebody else. And that's an interesting thing, isn't it? I think, uh, I think that, that very few of us do that. Very few of us want to be a follower. We all want to be leaders, and that's the problem, isn't it? I mean, the world's really fractured, and we don't have... And the reason is because most of our leaders are hypocrites. They say one thing and do another. So true leadership, true leadership involves focusing on yourself first as far as your behavior and then everybody else. You can't correct somebody else's behavior until your own is in check. That's the thing I learned in the ministry here as well. I mean, you know, if I'm out, you know, behaving in a poor man, poor in a bad way, you know, my mannerisms are bad, then who's going to listen to me when I try to correct them, you know? So, so the first thing that leadership is about is example. What kind of example are you setting? Um, another thing I want to say that I learned here, like in the last 13 years in prison, however the boss is. However the boss is, that's also how the, the soldiers are going to be. Let me explain that. In prison, now listen to this story, this is interesting. In prison, I used to have this boss who was just awesome. He was just like a really cool guy, and, and he liked to take a little bit of money, and was like everything easy going. And all of the, the correctional officers below him were exactly like him because of his attitude. And then I was working in the office with the, with the head CEO, with the, with the head guard, and then they changed him out and brought in another guy who was a complete and total Nazi asshole. I mean, just the worst of the worst. And the same guards that were easy going with me and, and now all became Nazi assholes as well. So however the boss is, that's how the troop is going to be as well. That's a rule. You can write that one down. So and that's another thing you think about that in your own. If you've got a house, if you're the, if you're the head of a household, you're the mama or the papa 
of a household and you got kids looking up to you, I want you to think about that for just a minute because however you are, that's how they're going to be. You smoking, they're going to smoke too. You eat shit, tater chips and drink beer, they're going to eat tater chips and drink beer too. I'm just being straight. It's it's how it is. I, I think in so many ways I'm just like my father. You know, I learned so many things from my dad. So many good things and so many bad things too. I mean, and, and so, so however, you know, at work, if you're like, ah, eh, fuck it, it's not that important. Your employees are going to be, ah, oh, fuck it, it's not that important. That's how they're going to act. And so like maybe you're a middle manager or maybe you're just a, you know, like maybe you're a corporal with a bunch of privates below you in the machine of the industry that you work in. You know, you feel like you don't feel like much of a leader because they haven't given you a hell of a lot of authority, just a tiny bit of authority. That tiny bit of authority is important. And what you should do with it is try to be the best at whatever it is you do that you can be so that everybody under you will try also to be the very best. And if you just try to be like, ah, just do enough to get by, that's what everybody else is going to do too. And, and your out work output's not going to be that good. Another thing is I believe that no matter what you do, if you're, if you're digging ditches, you dig the best damn ditches there are. If you're, you know, if you're a, <laughs> you're a cow milker or something, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a lowly, I'm trying to think of a lowly position without offending anyone. I don't give a shit what you do for a living. Do it to the best of your ability because the person that's going to receive the opportunity is the person who does a good job. Let's say you got you got a, a you got a a janitorial a janitorial business like you know you you go and they, people people you clean your your business you are you're the you're the boss man and you got a business of people who clean toilets and you go and there's one guy who comes to work every day he's got a big smile on his face he ain't got no kids let's just say that first let's just say that we'll make this we'll make this a little complicated he don't got no kids and he don't even need that job he don't even need a job but he comes to work every day he stays late he doesn't bitch he's always you know happy to do anything if you need him for an extra day he's always willing to work and then you got another guy who's got a house full of kids but he's a lazy worthless shithead who comes in late who bitches about his job and there opens in, in, inside there, there opens a position position for supervisor. Who are you going to put in as supervisor? You're going to put the guy that comes to work on time that doesn't even need the job. And the guy who really needed to be put in as supervisor didn't get the job. Why? Because he's a lazy, worthless ass. So do the best you can at whatever it is you're doing. That's leadership. The leader, the reason people get promoted through leadership, and then, you know, and we got a lot of false leaders running around. And that's the part of the problem in the Western world, United States, Canada, Great Britain, Europe, Australia, South Africa, New Zealand. The reason we got a lot of problems in the Western world is because our leaders are a bunch of fucking hypocrites. And they're full of shit. They talk really good, but their lives are shit. They don't do anything. You know, they don't do what they say. So you want to be a good leader. You want to be you want to be somebody that, that that people can believe in. Well, do what it is you say. If you're telling somebody else to do something, don't you dare tell somebody else to do something that you ain't willing to do yourself. That's the first thing. Lead by example. The second thing, and if you don't love the people that you lead, you can't lead them. If you don't care very much about the people that you lead, you can't lead them. Hey, I'm Brother Wild. This is my audio diary for today. This is what I, was ta- this is what, this is what I feel like saying today. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Today is May the 4th, 2023. If you want to know more about me, pull the description box down. There's a Wikipedia link there. There's also a link to a book I wrote, a pretty action-packed book about a memoir from some of my time in prison and, uh, and my time with Panama Justice called Long Live the King Wild Bill. You can pick it up on Amazon in paperback or in uh, an ebook. Also, there's two links there to talk to me directly uh, through social media, Facebook and Instagram. So check, it, check me out, and thanks, guys, for listening. God bless you. Jesus Christ loves you, and I love you, too. I'm Brother Wild Bill.